<sighs> Guys. Tick tock. Do you hear that clock <laughs> counting down? It is like three and a two and a half minutes until midnight. It's almost midnight, and I'm meeting you here uh, at midnight. Hello, well, nine o'clock. LA Whatever. Time. It'll it's be, fine. It's midnight somewhere. It's midnight back in our hometown. And in a couple minutes, it will be midnight everywhere. Yes. Plural midnights. We are minutes away from our first listen of Taylor Swift's new album, Midnights, which I can't believe, which we're hearing now, according to the Instagram, that it's a visual album. I like we just found out five. Five seconds, well, not five seconds ago. It felt like five seconds ago yes. that there are visuals for probably every single song. Right. It looks like there were visuals that like harkened back to all of her different previous eras. Exactly. There were castles. There was her pushing herself off of the bed. There was an archer. <laughs> there was an archer. Shooting her in the oh, shoulder. Sometimes she's the archer. She like, has the been the archer. She has been the prey. Until you Humpty said Dumpty. It. You couldn't put all those pieces <laughs> together. <laughs> Well, guys, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching our video. Uh, we are the Two Game Mats. My name is Matt Palmer. And my name is Matt Steele. And uh, we hope you enjoy. We're going to live react to Taylor Swift's new album, Midnight. Make sure if you like our stuff to like and subscribe. You know, and uh, we also have a podcast that comes out every Monday called Two Game Mats as well, TWO. And we have a Patreon if you want to join our Discord, if you want to chat with other pop music enthusiasts and, you know, chat with us during the week. Go to patreon.com slash Two Game Mats. And at certain tiers, you can request a review or reaction of your very own. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> right now we're focused on the one thing. One more minute until Taylor I Swift enters believe. our ears. It's been, it feels like it's been so long, but like, I guess Evermore wasn't that long ago. At this no, point. Evermore was like a year <laughs> and a half ago. Wow. It was like November 2020. She's put out so many records since we got locked down in a pandemic. It's yeah. just like, wow, you win the most productive. She has so many sleepless nights. There's only 13 tracks. And it's like, girl, you've had more than 13 sleepless nights because releasing five things since the pandemic started. Started, you've never slept a wink. I know. In She's not life. a sleeper. She's not I a sleeper. I love to sleep. <laughs> Taylor and I are different You can never way. release a midnight. You'll, I, re you'll release a midday. Exactly. Album. I believe it's out. Oh, God. <laughs> so should we start? We're going to refresh our Spotify. We're going to refresh our God Spotify. God bless us. Taylor stands. Please, please, please <laughs> don't dox us. Oh, I'm clicking the link and nothing's happening because I assume so many people are trying. Oh, some, Spotify something went, something went, went wrong. wrong while loading our Spotify crashed. Well, it's been great, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean. Taylor's cackling right now. Just be like, Ha, 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 you motherfuckers. <laughs> I bet she'd want us to hear the album at this uh, point. Yes, I would course. hope. Okay. Oh, God. We got the okay. track list. 44 minutes and eight seconds. 13 songs. No surprises here. Yes. Lavender Haze is the first track. Are we ready to take a first listen? All right, guys. This is hot. Oh. Me and midnight. We yes, did. we did. We're here. Oh, I do like that. That's cool. Yes. Oh, this is. It's Poppy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Staring at the ceiling with you. Oh, you don't have to say too much. Oh, it's very vibey. Yes. And you don't have an under scrutiny. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. You handle it beautifully. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. All this shit is new to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it? <laughs> this has got to be with Joe. This is like Reputation Era, Midnight. She loves Haim, doesn't she? Haim? <laughs> <laughs> it was very much all those Haim sisters were singing that background, essentially. Oh, do I, I do want to know that. <laughs> yeah, when is that wedding? Let's go. Oh, all right. I feel judged. <laughs> I love her whisper singing. She sounds great. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey. Oh, that's my favorite part. Hey. Wow, this is a great opening track for it her. It is. Like, it's it's, it's like moody and vibey, but still very melodic. Yes, and a nice ease in. I feel. Yes. Oh. Off her desk! Clean her desk! <laughs> oh. This is so good. People say yes. That is a chorus, baby! Is. Oh, I'm thrilled! Say! <laughs> hey! I like it. I like it. It's great. Warning. 
Wow. Ooh, that was gorgeous. That was better than I was expecting. Yes, like I that re- was the fact that it is so melodic yet being so vibey is so exciting for me because when people say vibey, sometimes they forget about the melody. But Taylor, ever the melodist, was like, no, we're making a song. We're giving them vocals. It's going to be cool and chill and you can sing it back by the end. We are giving them harmonies. Yes. We are going to do something that feels so mature but isn't like boring or snoozy. <laughs> like like it's it's cool. It's yes. sexy. And a lot of people were saying like, oh, this feels a little melodrama-y, which yeah. I'm kind of just like, oh, like we love melodrama. Of Obviously, melodrama is like one of the best albums to be released in the last ten years. Yes, but I was kind of like, oh, but like, is Taylor a melodrama artist? Like, right. is that too dark for her? And this right. didn't. This felt like leaning into melodrama a little bit, but not too. Yeah, much. Yeah, not crazy at all. And it, I feel it didn't like feel too dark for her. Lyrically, it felt very much like Reputation era Joe Alwyn. All these people are talking about, you know, uh, how she did the whole Kim Kanye whatever that whole thing was, and her reputation was terrible. But Joe Alwyn doesn't care, and everyone mm. asks him, "When are you getting married?" People only think of a one night or a bride. bride. And it's like, Taylor, Uh, you better fucking write. You better fucking write. When she writes well, she writes so I know, that's the thing with that. That's the thing with her. I'm proud. Sorry, my Alexa was (laughs) was also excited about the Taylor album. I can't believe how good that was. That was really good. That was really freaking good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, please keep it up. I know. We're, we're, We're one for one. Uh, Maroon is next. Maroon. Another color. Another color. She loves a crown box, that Taylor. Crayon. Crown. Crayon. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from Central Jersey. We say crown. Order and crown. Who are you? <laughs> I am me, baby. Okay. And I'm the only one of me. Are you ready? As Taylor would say. Oh, sorry. That's keep it. I was listening to it earlier. <laughs> it always goes to my cue. Okay. That's so. No, that's stop. So funny. Here we go. Mm. Ooh. Hey. We're dark. This is a maroon. This sounds. This is a very purple album. All right. When the morning came, we were cleaning incense off your vinyl shelf because we lost track mm. of time again. How'd we end up on the floor anyway? You say your roommates keep at screw top rose. That's screw top rose. Aww. Cornelia Street. <laughs> An ocean apart. I like that. That was nice. Do it again, yes. <laughs> she loves a red lip. She does. She loves a red lip. Yeah, that second half of that chorus was really yeah. quite the moment. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. With oh, no. Your head in your hand. The way should always ends. Carnations you had thought were roses. Ooh. That's us in New York. No shoes. No shoes. Yes, no shoes. got, got it. it. <laughs> That's a real fucking legacy. Yes. I think she's probably done that in. Has she? I think she's too young. Those, oh, <laughs> she's a full a adult. Fucking legacy. Again. To leave. My cheeks so scarlet. Brilliant. The second yeah. half of the chorus is yeah. the peak of this song. Maroon. Mm. The string, like the... Oh, I didn't even see the freaking canvases. Oh, we missed it all. Start it again. <laughs> maroon. So it was maroon. That was nice. It was nice. It felt very cinematic. It yes. felt kind of like a horror movie. It yes. Like the way the... I don't even know if I would call them... It, they were string like, but yeah. not strings, yeah. and the way like they would sort of like modulate. This was a Jack Antonoff thing, wasn't it? I feel it? like a lot of them are Jack Antonoff, if not all of them are Jack Antonoff. I th- I think like the first one was not, but I think this one is. Okay. And very interesting. I love the second half of the chorus. I yes. mean, the, the whole chorus is nice and everything. I feel like this will be like one I have to dive deeper into the lyrics more. Yeah, I'll need to listen to it more. The verses are very low, and um, it's interesting to see how the relationship progresses, how second verse it falls apart, the carnations that he thought were roses, that was them. I think there's cool lyrical moments. I think it's very vibey. Mm-hmm. It's not personally my taste sonically, exactly, but... I'm willing to have it grow on me. It just, yeah. I was coming off of such a high. I mean, Lavender, Lavender Haze. Haze. <laughs> and now it's, it's an like, instant okay. instant classic. 
we, we are we are yes we're getting a little bit more into the deep you know okay. we're rolling in the deep as a wise woman once said okay <laughs> what's the next song the next called? song is called oh i don't even know oh antihero this Anti- is the oh, single this is the one that a lot of people in the live chat said i would like really yeah but maybe not you oh uh, i hope see. i hope i like it it's the single <laughs> the video is coming out in like four hours or whatever all right Ooh. hey uh, 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 uh. Oh, me too, girl. When my depression works the graveyard shift all of the people. Aww. I've ghosted stand there in the room. How many people have you ghosted? No, jeez. I end up in crisis. We love Alan Menken. <laughs> Did she say? That's a line. I stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. Yes. Excellent. We are. (laughs) Oh, you're not a monster, Tay. (laughs) She better fucking ride. Mariah would be proud. She can write such a great chorus when she feels like it, when she's like, this chorus needs to hit, she's there. Is it exhausting, Swifties? (laughs) We're rooting for it, too. Oh, specific. <laughs> she what? She was saying she's laughing up at, up at us from hell. He agrees, everybody agrees. Yeah, gravel, baby. Yeah, it's me. Yes, I'm always rooting for the anti-hero. <laughs> this wow. is an anthem. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Let me. Pause. I was so into it. I was not looking at when to pause. <laughs> that was great, guys. That's like 1989 level chorus. Yes. Like that's like could be next to style. Yes. It's too soon to say the BS word, but it is this. I'm you so glad. You mean blank space, not bullshit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, of course I mean blank space, but this is so incredibly well written. So incredibly well written lyrically and melodically. Mm-hmm. The production is solid and it's like you can feel the growth from the 1989 of it Yes. All. It feels like a, much, a, a 1989 eight years later. Yes. And it's. It, Exactly what I dreamed she'd do. <laughs> uh, like everything is good about it. The verses, the pre chorus with the tale as old as time, may Angela Lansbury rest. Uh, and that chorus is so uh, good. And that bridge, that bridge with the will. And it's like, yes, wait. leave them out, laugh up at them from and hell. And it's like, girl, did you just watch Knives Out before you fell asleep? Like, <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> this, this whole song is about how she watched Knives Out when she wasn't able to sleep. It seems right. So I. Fucking love that. That was great. And the thing about this album, and I mean, we've only heard three songs already. <laughs> yes. The harmonies in this album are gorgeous and so sophisticated. They're no, they're no joke. Oh, they're great. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. All right. Those are, I mean, we have two fucking all timers in yeah. my book. Yeah. In the second song, and which another is fine. good one. <laughs> and another good one. Snow on the Beach. Snow on the Beach featuring Lana Del Rey. I've heard of her. Oh, this sounds cute. Yeah. It's like a little music box playing. It is. This is like the beginning of Look What You Made Me Do before like the beat drops. Oh, that's nice. Like snow at the beach, weird but fucking beautiful. Flying <laughs> in a dream, no on the beach. Ooh, weird but fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Is Lana? Is that you? Oh, there she is. There she is. She sent in a voice note and called it a day. She's she's like the Christmas angel looking down on her. <laughs> Someone lit from within. Blurring out my periphery, my smile. Oh, that's so 
nice thing to say to someone. What you say? <laughs> like someone uh, blurring out your periphery because you're shiny. Oh. Oh. I love this low part. A little harmony underneath it is so pretty too. Post chorus. Because Lana comes through. She it's like does. Taylor goes away and Lana comes up from the snow. Absolutely she does. I love that effect. Yes, Janet. Are we falling like snow? Uh, that is that little little harmony yeah. stuff. Like that. It's coming down. It's coming down. It she feels told like Christmas. us. Oh, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it is almost Christmas. It really is. It's coming up. Yes. Again, very expertly crafted background vocals. It really is. The plunks. <laughs> love a plunk. I love the a plunk. plunk. I'm a violinist, darling. I was concert master at my high school orchestra. You're going to play violin for us at some point. No, I won't. We want to see it. The people want to know. <laughs> I thought that was lovely. That was nice. I thought that was really nice. Like, and the instrumentation, the production really felt like snow. I, that's did? like a, that's like a cheesy thing to say, but like, <laughs> I really was just like, I'm in the atmosphere. I got right. the visual right away. I thought it was lovely. I agree. I appreciated it. I especially like the chorus and when Lana comes in in that post chorus, it's mm. very lovely. Very smart harmonies throughout i think again you know me and the echoey vocals like it's like you listening to like very thick harmonies or like like i literally can't hear the words it's like <laughs> when i tried to listen to full moon by brandy you're like i don't know what she's saying yeah this is my version of that okay yeah it, i will say out of the four tracks we listen to this is the most folklore ish right. of them right but with a little more uh production like synthesized totally. production totally. and everything um and i feel like she's earned it at this point in the album she's given us a lot of different things she's given us a lot of layers a lot of yeah. colors i want to say like everything i've heard so far i'm so impressed by just the sophistication and the layering of all the harmonies absolutely and the little tiny details in the production like i think it's a very sophisticated album like, so far is this the most like vocally thought out album of hers it could be it could be you're on, you're on to something right? there. As someone with a degree in this. Hey, BFA, darling. So what is the next track? The next track is... You're on your own, kid. You're on your own, kid. <laughs> is that us? Is that I, about us? Are we I am a now? kid. Thank you. I don't know if that's true. I wait patiently. He's gonna notice me. Aw. Mm. It's okay. We're the best of friends. Huh. Is he gay? <laughs> She hears it in the voice. He's gay. Mm. Is this high school then? Is she still dreaming of getting out? That is lovely. Oh, she's singing to herself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this song is lovely, but so sad. I know. Oh. Wait, is this about Drew? Teardrops on my guitar guy? <laughs> Drew looks at me. <laughs> I think it's Drew. <laughs> Great. Great lines here. Take me there. I search the party of better bodies just to learn that my dreams aren't rare. Oh, oh, you're on your own, kid. You always have been. This, we were just talking about White Houses by Vanessa Carlton. It's very it's that. It's very that. Oh, brilliant. I like this. I do too. I hosted mm. parties and starved my body. Oh. No. Yes. Oh. I'm your own kid. Yes, I can. Wow. I need this in like a teen Netflix drama. Oh my God. 
I thought that was great. I thought that was great. I love how far back we were going. I like it feels like a song that talks about the things that inspired her to start writing right. as a child. Yes, when Drew she said, looked at her. I was very that. It was like nothing was between us but something bloomed in her room. There was that's where things really started for her. And then I feel like from the bridge on it's like we fast forward through time. Through so like, all the stuff she did right, all the stuff she did wrong, all the regrets she made, all the things that worked in her favor like wow I, that song felt so meaningful and so impactful I, she is great <laughs> I can't wait to listen to it again and it feels so in keeping with where we are in our lives like I feel like we're similar ages to Taylor she, I think she's a little younger but, but it's like you get to this point where you could you like feel sorry for your younger self and you look back and it's like you're doing everything okay yes. and you're being so hard on yourself and you're doing things that if you knew everything that you know now you would never let people treat you like this or never let the world make you feel this way about yourself and it's uh, like I needed this song this year <laughs> <laughs> let's just say Matt Steele needed this song why'd this you year. need it you and Dahmer yeah I found <laughs> Dahmer in 2021 <laughs> true but wow I, I'm bowled over every I other track that. has bowled me over yeah. <laughs> truly <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking for the odd numbers, babe. Odd uh, number. Hey, this is this is. Uh, th I'm glad it's 13 because that's one more odd number. That's true. Okay, what's the next track? Rain Midnight is. rain it is. <laughs> he wanted a comfortable. I wanted the pain. He wanted a bird. I was making my own mm. name. Chasing the fame. Uh oh. He stayed the same. All of me changed like midnight. What the hell is going on? I don't know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I do too. My boy was a montage. A slow motion love potion jumping off things in the ocean. Mm. It broke his heart because he was nice. Oh, Taylor. Was Taylor. I, was I love that line. Oh. Oh. It's hard to talk because she has so many lyrics. I know. Yes. Oh. Title of the album. Is this Taylor Lautner? That's my guess. He seems like a nice boy. Yes. Who is that? Is that Jack? No, that is her vocoded. Oh. <laughs> that is her. <laughs> And he never thinks of me. He does. Except when I'm on TV. Uh, oh. Which would be a lot. <laughs> Girl. I love this. And I it feel ya. Feels like the grown up version of uh, the, That's How I Loved You, or that's. What's the song from Fearless? Um, that's, that's the, the way, way I, I loved, loved you. you. Oh, that's a great song. She loves the pain. She's always loved the pain. She's always loved the pain. <laughs> well, it's just guys. like she. Like she always thought that love would feel like a burning red and that it was going to be a big problem. And then by lover, she realizes that it's not that. It's mm -hmm. a lavender haze. I, I like that was great. It I, was a wonderful like mix of like R&B and 80s and like Bjork. Like it was, <laughs> it was so many things, but it all worked so well. It did. And I like, could have seen myself being annoyed with like the vocoder, like her pitched down version of herself. I thought it was cool. I thought that, I thought <laughs> I, that was a dude. Right. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, what's his name? Uh, m and e <laughs> Hey, m and e would sound great on this. She should have him on the remix. This was a great, even-numbered song. Hey, guys. I very much enjoyed. Yeah. This was good. And it just is like so lyrically dense. It's like, I, I like, a, not every song, but there's so many songs I like where there's such a density of like lyrics that need your full attention. Yeah. It's like watching comedies like 30 Rock or Abbott Elementary where like there's so many jokes packed into a moment when there's so many like introspective lyrics packed into a moment. I can't help but like be so super focused. I don't yeah. know. We, I we, it. we know it's Taylor. So like, we're just like, wait, but we have to listen. I know. And also exactly. we know that everyone in the comments will be like, why are you talking over this lyric? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying not to guys, but like, we, I'm not we have trying to not to, I just had to listen to all those. <laughs> all right, next up. Question. Question it is. Oh, it's explicit. Oh, explicit. I know. She's going to say fuck again. She might. Hot. <laughs> It'll be super hot. <laughs> mm. I liked it before and I like it now. <laughs> Sad boy, big city, wrong choices. We had one thing going on. I swear that it was something because I don't. I just may like some explanation. Mm. Don't we all? Can I ask you a question? Did 
Did you ever have someone kiss you in a crowded room? Okay. And every single one of your friends was making fun of you. Mm, oh. But 15 seconds later, they were clapping too. <laughs> then what did you do? Huh. Did you leave a house in the middle of the night? It's still specific. Yeah. <laughs> did you on your mind with some dickhead guy that you mm. saw that night? But you were on something. It was one drink. Yes, pre. Fucking politics and gender roles, and you're not sure, and I don't know. Can I ask you a question? Like I oh, I like this. Have someone kiss you in a crowded room, and every single one of your friends was making fun of you. I like the you. I like the B coming in the second chorus. This, that bridge is very I think he knows bridge <laughs> Yeah I'm kind of lost in the plot here Like what are we talking about They were Oh yeah We got people in the studio to clap I love that It's just a question Just a question Just a question I have questions about I, that song That's the thing it invi- That's a song that invites more questions Like huh <laughs> <laughs> That's no. my question Huh <laughs> I didn't dislike it. I really liked the, the, how the beats picked up, yes. especially in that second chorus. Production-wise, I thought it was very interesting. Yeah, I think she's doing interesting things yes. with this song. Lyrically, I'm the most lost I've been on the album. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm, I feel like the questions that are being asked, it's like I guess are references to things that actually happened to her. I assume, sure. But like, who are we asking? And then everyone starts clapping, and it's like <laughs> I'm a little. I don't dislike it. I think it's interesting. That would be an interesting reaction. Like if we were out somewhere. Yeah. And I started making out with a guy on the dance floor. Would you clap? I wouldn't like applaud, but I'd be like, if oh, you were like, yeah, no, I don't foresee good that. Job. You I look would, so good. With the people I'd be with, I'd turn to them and say, like, hey, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> You'd clap in your heart. Yeah, in my heart. You know, okay. I don't want to invade the space. Thank um, you. So, yeah, I mean, not my, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I I just have questions. I have questions. About it. I just have, like, I need to listen to it again and get more used and to maybe it. Maybe that's the point. That's we're the suppo- point. You know what? She's always thinking. We're supposed to be <laughs> curious to get to the next song. That's true, which, which is vigilante shit. Vigilante shit. All right. Explicit as well. Oh. Draw the cat eyes sharp enough to kill a man. Oh. Oh. Who are you killing with your cat eyes, girl? <laughs> you did some bad things, but I'm the worst of them. <laughs> mm. One will be your last lie. Is this one she wrote by herself? I think it might be. Damn. I don't dress for women. I don't dress for men. Dress for me? Lately I've been dressing for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Revenge. Okay. All right. She needed cold hard proof, so I gave her some. Cool. She had the envelope. Where you think she got it from? Envelope? What? Huh, why? <laughs> This is sort of like her uh, six she inch. Can so can <laughs> and did we ever think Taylor would give us a six inch? Never. I didn't know. I see flames. Someone in the chat said it's very Billie Eilish, which I hear. Yes, very Which much. I can hear that for sure. Oh. Oh. Who is this? <laughs> Who was she involved with? I don't know, but he was doing lines. Or for innocence. I'm a vigilante shit. Yeah, I've been dressing for revenge. Billie Eilish should have been featured on that. <laughs> Absolutely. There's right. still time for a remix on the deluxe that version of this album. Maybe that'll be the surprise in like two hours. I know. That it's she's really... going to give us. Uh, yeah, I thought that was also interesting. She's taking a swing. It almost feels like if we're doing Look What You Made Me Do and slowing it way down. Way down. And like doing like a sexy... She's dealing with a white collar crime man who's doing lines and who? things. I don't know who. I this maybe this isn't personal. Maybe this is another storytelling exercise. Because I hope she's not been involved with someone like that. I don't want that. I don't want that. For I don't want that for her. her or for any of us. The second she said, um, "I don't dress for women," I was just like, "Oh, so is she not bisexual?" <laughs> <laughs> that that was like the only thing I thought about. Well, she said, like, "I don't dress for men," and then she- I know, but then she said men, and I was just like, "Okay, she doesn't dress for other people." Period. <laughs> yes. But like, are we gonna get? An announcement that she's bisexual. I guess we would have found out if she was bisexual <laughs> by now because the album leaked like yesterday. Right. But like if there was a, something in the lyrics to point us in that direction, it would have made. We're still waiting, Taylor. We're still waiting to hear that you're bisexual. It's never too late. Um, this this was 
cool and yes. say, and just like very very different for her. Yes. Um, I liked it. Uh, it's just different for her, it so it's kind of her. like a shock to yes. the system. It's a shock. I don't so, dislike it. No, but it's a shock. It's a shock. All right. We'll leave it at that. Should we do? Bejeweled? Bejeweled. Bejeweled. All right. There was some disagreement about this in the chat. I'm excited. Some people liked it. Some people do not. Oh, well, people have feelings. That's what I hear. Let, maybe we'll be divided on it, too. It could be. Oh. oh. Baby love, I think I've been a little too kind. This is very false god <laughs> scarier. you walking all over from someone first. Only works <gasps> when you're in their top five. Oh. Oh, good point. Best believe I'm still bejeweled When I walk in the room I can still make the whole place shimmer And when I meet the band They ask do you have a man I can still say I don't remember Oh I polish up real I polish up real Nice Okay <laughs> Interesting Is this like a threat to Joe? <laughs> I don't think this is Joe He would never not put her in his top five True. He loves her down I can still make the whole place shimmer I like that, the shimmer. Remember. I like those. This is cool. I'm into it. Nice. I guess you're not. <laughs> I didn't say that. I like the shimmer. I'll tell you that. I liked that song. Tell me why you didn't like it. Now. I didn't say I didn't <laughs> like it. Uh, I also think it's interesting. I think there are catchy moments. The shimmer and polish up real nice. Um, yeah, I think I need to listen to it again. Okay. I, it. Okay, this is going to scare you. I'm nervous. It kind of, remind, it kind of makes me think if gorgeous was good. You know? <laughs> Like, it kind of feels like that. Oh, okay. I, it definitely felt reputation-y to me. Yes, it did. Yes, that felt like a reputation era kind of song. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. It's not my favorite. Don't dislike it. I'll need to listen to it again. Again. Yes. Uh, th- like, all of these songs, are, like, we're getting into real interesting, yes. curious territory. Because at the beginning, <laughs> we were, like, getting some heavy hitter. Yes. Like, some immediate bangers, which, you know, she is wont to do. We've all heard Red. Uh, and then as the second half of the album has unfolded, she's like, all right, this is the different vibe I'm giving you. Enjoy it or don't. We're trying new things. We're trying new things, which I appreciate. Which we appreciate. Absolutely, we do. Has there been anything yet where you're just like, oh, no? <laughs> I mean, no, I'd say these last two haven't been my favorite. Okay. But it's not like an active no. It's just like, oh, this isn't what, the, I, I didn't want this. <laughs> but it's not an active no. Okay, all that's right? fair. All right, let's go to the next one. It is Labyrinth. Labyrinth, great film. Here we go. I hope I never lose you. It sounds like Cornelia Street. <laughs> oh, I hope it's Cornelia Street level. <laughs> what a classic. Oh, I like that. <laughs> it sounded like an elephant or a trumpet. I love them both. <laughs> <laughs> I really do like that sound. <laughs> From her NYU speech. Mm, wow. How dare she drop an Easter egg in an NYU speech? What? Rises fast, it can't last. Good point, good point. You should be scared. Oh, I like that. I'm falling in love again. Oh, I'm falling in love. It's kind of like the Archer esque production wise. It is. Wise. It's very Archer. It, it's so interesting because it, she's singing about falling in love, but it sounds like a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Just because she's scared. She's, she's nervous. Scared. She's like, will this be the death of me? A lot of sound effects. I know. You it's know? scary in that Maverick. Like we're in Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a fair thing to ask of Taylor. Oh, best part. It's great. This is my part. 
I do like the vocal thing she's doing throughout. I like it a lot. The pitching down, I like. Hey! hey. <laughs> it's a party, baby. I know, Riley. We're falling in love at this party, babe. Hey. I hope someone claps. <laughs> This, that one was nice. I did like that one. I liked that one. The thing I liked about it is just when I was expecting to not like it, to like get <laughs> bored with it, like right. what are we doing? I was just like, oh wait, but I like this. You're like, doing something. Yeah. And that fall in love, fall in love again melody is so simple and it's just like her vocal. It's not vocoded. It's not harmonized, but man, it's affecting. I love a little simple vocal that sticks with you. Yeah. It's very, it's very Archer vibe. Yes. yes. I'd say it's an improvement on the Archer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I would have to listen to it again. I because I wasn't in love with the Archer when I first yes. heard the Archer as well, but then I grown to really like the Archer yeah. a lot. Um, so I'll have to give this one more time. I do like it though. Like I really love that chorus. That was lovely. And then the dance break at the end. I mean, <laughs> right when we're ready to fall asleep, she gets us up dancing. I know, and she's about to make out on the dance floor, and hey. we're all gonna uh, clap. Yes, she lives with the applause. All right, so should we get to it? Well, let's get to it. What's next? The next song is Karma. Karma. You ready for some karma? Is it going to be good karma or bad karma? I guess we'll have to wait and see. I hope it's bad karma. Alicia Keys has a great song called Karma. I hope it's a cover. <laughs> Does it sound like it is? No. <laughs> Next album. Of everyone you burn just to get there, it's coming back around. Bad karma. It's bad yeah, it's karma. Bad. It's bad. <laughs> and I keep my side of the street clean. I like this. This is good. <laughs> Karma's a cat. <laughs> She's out of her mind. I love Taylor. <laughs> that was wild. Your little webs of opacity mm. My pennies Don't you know the cash Ain't the only price uh. It's coming back Around, around. <laughs> You wouldn't know What I mean Cause your uh, side is dirty uh. bitch Yes Karma is a god Karma is the breeze In my hair on the weekend Yes Karma is a cat I'm never gonna get over Karma as a cat. Title the song Karma as a cat. Let's be brave. <laughs> yes, RIP song time. <laughs> karma is the thunder rattling your ground. Karma's on your scent like a bounty hunter. Wow. Karma's gonna track you down. Yeah, this bitch. This feels Kanye too, right? like Jess. Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me. Yeah. Oh, Joe Alwell. Karma is a cat. Karma is a cat. That's where she's a cat. Hey, I feel like this is a good attitude to have. Yeah. Me and Karma vibe like that. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is my boyfriend would also Karma have been a good title. Yeah. And that's such a good attitude. I know. No need for revenge. It Just is a little mean. Like, the song is a little mean. <laughs> it's not that mean because she's not doing anything. No, active. she's not doing anything. Karma is doing Karma, the thing. So she's, she is, you know, schadenfreude-ing it, being like, oh, well, Karma, I'm smiling so hard. Right oh, my now. God. That's my the face thing. muscles hurt. It's a joy. It's a joy. That chorus, when it comes in, it's just like, wait, what did you say? It's like, such a fun song that's also cool and sexy yes. and clever. Like, it could have really veered into cheesy. Yes. Like, Karma is a cat, but for some reason, <laughs> it works so well. I think because she's speed singing it and like she doesn't open with karma as a cat and so she's kind of <laughs> earned karma as a cat by the time we get into it it's yeah. like i get karma's gonna be a bunch of things and it you know it brings her comfort the karma does yeah. i don't think it's actually that mean i think no. better than revenge is much meaner of, well better <laughs> there's nothing meaner than better than revenge which is a classic piece of music <laughs> um but yeah i i love how it's like karma or it's like some bad things that happen to you but karma sometimes these great things that happen exactly. to me like and my, my boyfriend and my friends and my wonderful cat burn in my lap exactly i wow. thought that was great that was great that was 
was just so much fucking fun. She and Karma vibe like that. They do. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good, that guys. Was good. That was clever. Taylor, was, you're bringing that, it back. That felt so radio-ish. Like it felt very right. now. I feel like the kids could vibe to that. Hey, come on, yeah. kids. We don't. We don't know any young people. So if you're young in the chat, tell I'm us. young. If you're young in the chat, <laughs> tell us if you like that song because we loved it. All right. Next up, sweet nothing. Sweet nothing. <laughs> Karma is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I spy with my little tired eye Tiny as a firefly A pebble that we picked up last July <laughs> Down deep inside your pocket We almost forgot it Does it ever miss with clothes sometimes? It's very nursery rhyme I know, it's like, it's nice to have a friend almost <laughs> <laughs> Except not crazy <laughs> All that you ever wanted from I like this verse a lot or is that the chorus? <laughs> the chorus. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> that was lovely, though. Yeah. I wish she didn't follow the piano line on the verses. Okay, yeah. fair. On the way home. Oh, great, she's not. I wrote a poem. <laughs> you say, what a mind. This happens all the time. <laughs> I just write songs all the time, guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she's prolific. Look at that. <laughs> Everyone's up to something. I find myself around and home to you. Oh, I'll that's the nice. Shoving. You're in the kitchen humming. All that you ever wanted from me was nothing. Industry oh, I love the brass. <laughs> I love the brass. And smooth to you, I can admit that I'm just too soft for all of it. Oh, that was good. That's why she's such a good writer, though, is because she never built up the, like, barriers of, like, I don't care what everyone thinks of me. Yeah. You know? They said the end is coming. Uh oh. Everyone's up to something. Changing the chords. I this feels You're like in the kitchen, no a nice song to like dance to at a wedding. I know, I was about know? to say, it feels like a nice wedding song. That feels different. I like how this is building just Absolutely. enough. We love a build. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why Taylor didn't feature me like Lana in the background. <laughs> I thought that was lovely. I thought that was very sweet I and very nice. Lovely. And in the beginning, I was kind of like, oh, am I going to like this? And then as it built, I was just like, no, this is such a beautiful, simple, like subdued love song. Absolutely. I think it works really well. And it's like, it feels intimate. It's still kind of like joyous and big with the brass coming mm -hmm. in the back. But I'm glad it doesn't ever get too boisterous because it still feels... As I don't know, as close, it's like you're being lit by candlelight with the song. Yeah. And you're dancing with the love of your life. I don't know. It's, I thought it was nice. I found it affecting. She's a great writer, melodically, lyrically, everything. Yeah. And I think it's interesting because, like, we weren't doing a, things as crazy as we were in other songs in this album, yes. but yet it still feels like it fits in the album. Absolutely, it does. To me. So, bravo. I liked that. I can't I believe that was we're on nice. the last song. That's crazy. I feel like we just got here. 13 tracks, oh, guys. This is how long albums should be, by the way. Pop girls, listen up. <laughs> Unless, like, it's top to bottom hits. <laughs> I, I mean, yes, but that's hard to do. It's hard to do. You know how I feel about double albums. <laughs> um, okay, so last song is called... Mastermind. Mastermind. All right, are we ready? All right, is she a mastermind? The mastermind, the going, mega mind. Is this going to be a masterpiece from yeah. her mastermind? I have to see. Yes. <laughs> oh, I feel like, was this in the, the trailer? trailer? I love the boop boops. <laughs> Once upon uh, give us a, a time, beat. The planets in the fates and all the stars align. Mm. You and I ended up in the same room. The same time. Oh, you did, didn't you? You better sing, babe. And the I told you none of it was accidental. And the first night that you saw me, nothing was gonna stop me. Yes. I made the groundwork and then, just like clockwork, the domino. Not clockwork. <laughs> Get your clocks up. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I like this. I know you tell. It's all by design. I don't want to give it too much, but some could call it her supercut. <laughs> Damn. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Oh, she's a planner shock. And the liquor in our cocktails. Yes. I told you none of it. Yes. Daniel in the first night that you saw me, I knew I wanted your body. Yeah. The ground. What if I told you I'm a master? Yes. I mean, she planned it all. She wasn't planning to fail. 
it feels like yes it feels like a little bit of super cut with a little bit of robin yes which great things it's a babe no one wanted to play with me as a little kid oh so i've been scheming like a criminal ever since damn He could read her because they're perfect together. <laughs> and she can admit these things about herself. Like, this almost is like the flip of Antihero. She's yes. taking all of the things that could be thought of as criticisms of her. And it's like, well, it got me what I wanted. Yes. And I had no choice because everyone didn't like me growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's just like danceable enough it, but like pulls back just when it needs to I loved that that is a brilliant final Th- song yes. I stand by it being her supercut I don't think it reaches the highs of supercut because what does well it doesn't but, like, it's not as like hard hitting right. as like a supercut yes but it, it's like it's just enough it's so simple it's, it feels delicate still yes and yes. I believe it does feel like the flip side to anti-hero I was saying that it kind of feels like she is Speaking to the criticisms of her being like, you know, a mastermind or Machiavellian and like leaving these Easter eggs and NYU speeches. And it's like, that's because nothing comes effortless to me. The kids didn't want to play with me. I had to behave this way to survive. I had to learn how to become manipulative. Yes. <laughs> and and like, yes, I will manip- own it. I will manipulate this man that I love into loving me. Back. Yes. But guess what? He wants me to because he wants me just as much as I want him. I think this is so different from another masterpiece called Enchanted oh. where she's like, I'm just going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and no. hope that you're not in love with someone else. Please, please, please. And now she's finally admitting like, no, when I know I want something, I'm going to go for it. And Absolutely. baby, after hearing this song I'm gonna do that too do it I'll wake up tomorrow and be like oh again and be like a little shiny I but mean, like it's, right now I feel empowered and it's a step beyond manifesting because the manifesting is like I'm gonna say it put it out of the universe she's like fuck the universe yes fuck the I'm universe I'm going to have a plan I will know where to be where to stand to what eye line and what lighting to hit me Brilliant. Brilliant. And the fact that who was her ex-boyfriend who accused her of like really manipulating like the press and everything? Uh, probably Calvin Harris. Calvin, Calvin Harris yeah. said that. And she right now she's just like, that's right, baby. Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> I did. And what about it? Yes. <laughs> to quote the Ariana meme. So Matt Steele. Yes. How do you feel about Midnight? I think it's a great album. I, I think agree. it's very good. I think she's doing so many interesting things sonically. I know there are songs on here that will definitely grow with time for me because you listen to him at first listen and you're kind of just like, wait, what? Like <laughs> vigilante shit. What are we doing? Right. Um, some songs are more immediate. Some songs are not like I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that album. I absolutely enjoyed it too. I definitely, the beginning and the end of the album were the high points for me. The middle gets a little muddy for my personal taste, but between lavender haze, anti hero, you're on your own. You're on your kid. own kid. Fuck me. Uh, midnight rain. I believed I loved, yes. uh, karma, sweet, nothing and mastermind. That's, a lot of fucking great shit on yeah. this album. Even if every song is not for me, there's more for me than there has been on a Taylor album in a while. So <laughs> thank you, Miss Taylor Swift. Yeah, I have, there was nothing on the album that I disliked. No. I did like it's if if there was something that I was confused about, it's not because I disliked it, it's because I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, it's more I found some things confusing. Which like, hey, that's an artist, baby. She, yes. And that's the thing. You can't say that she's sticking to one sound, which I mean, listen to her first album to now. Of course you couldn't. But I'm proud of her for continuing to take risks. Even if all the risks aren't for me, she's still giving me great bops throughout. Yes. How mad can I be? And that's what makes an artist. It's a person who, even if you don't like every single thing that they put out, you are still going to be like, but you know what? I will listen to the next album of to course. hear what it sounds like. Of course that is will. like what I do. Like there are movies that I go and see. There are directors who is like, I haven't liked a single movie <laughs> that this person has directed, but yet I will still go and see every single one of their movies just because I still find them interesting right. and in, ha- having a voice as an artist. And 
that's that's what makes a great artist to me. And Taylor is that tenfold. She's a mastermind. I mean, that last song is great. <laughs> I know that is a great final song. Uh, I'm thrilled with this album. I'm so glad we're talking about personal things, even if it's throughout her entire life. She clearly can like get back into the mindset and write it as personally because uh, those lyric lyrically throughout it is so strong for an album that has such like dense production at times. She's always going to give you a lyric that can stand on its own. And the thing with the production is like it's so dense and so interesting and so unique but it's not ever like jarring mm-hmm. at any time like it, it feels so sophisticated and sleek yes. and, and again delicate I feel like this is a more delicate version of reputation yeah you know I can see that so I really enjoyed it and I can't <sighs> wait to listen to it again yes so guys tell us in the comments how you feel about Taylor Swift's brand new album Midnight's uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Power Music and uh, it's Matt Steele and uh, Two Gay Mats for both of us uh, you can become a patron by going to patreon.com slash two gay mats if you become a patron of a certain tier uh, you can request a video or album for us to react or review and if you just become a $1 patron you get to join the discord which is truly the most fun of all, all time all we do is just uh, scream at each other about music absolutely <laughs> so if you want to join that we are available uh, go to what else? Oh, our podcast comes out every single Monday. It's called Two Gay Mats, wherever you get your podcast, TWO. We have lots to say, shockingly. <laughs> yeah, we, we're nonstop talk. We're like Taylor. We have a lot to say. We have a lot to say. And, and we're masterminds. Yes. And Matt Steele, who do we need to give shout outs to? To Fabian. Yes. Jeff. Yes. Adam Parnell. Yes. Fernando. Yes. And our dear Montana, who we know is a huge Taylor stand. Oh, yeah, I bet Taylor's smiling. Or Taylor. Montana is smiling ear to ear right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. And we'll be back soon with more. More two game match. Bye. Bye.